Seth Williams, and I'm the district attorney. And it's my job to try to keep the city safe. It's not your job to do that. But if we're going to make the city safe, we all need to work together. Amen? I'm tired of the violence in our city. Are you tired of the violence? Yes! Alright. So that's why we're here tonight. We're here to talk about that, and we're here so that we, together, take back our streets so that these young folks can play and not be worried. You don't have to be worried about them being shot because they're just out playing this thing. Yeah. All right? Because too many street corners in our city are littered with teddy bears and balloons. For young folks that have been cut short of primary lives since the violence. So uh, I'm going to say a few words. First, I'm going to ask Pastor Smith to come forward uh, to say a prayer. Because the point of this isn't to uh, incite violence. We're not here to confront people that we think mean us harm. We're here to engage the public, to get them involved, to help make the city safe. And we're here to uplift and give hope. That's why we're here. Does everybody understand that? If anybody's here for some other reason, you don't need to be here with us. Because we're about peace. We're about nonviolence. We're about taking the streets back. All right, without any further ado, I'm going to ask Pastor Smith to say a few words. We thank you, Mr. Uh, Seth Williams. We appreciate the DA office. I also appreciate this uh, state representative, uh, Tony Payton. We appreciate the police department. Yeah. I'd like you to give them a hand clap. All our police department, yeah. DA's office, thank you for protecting us because we need you. We're going to pray for you and we're going to pray for our neighbor and our community. As many of you know, I've been living in Frankfurt for 30 years, pastoring here, preaching here, and I live on Pratt Street, only three blocks down, across from Smedley Elementary School, and, and I need your prayers, and I know all of us need to pray for each other. As Hezekiah Walker says, we need each other. We need each other. Can we pray? Let's pray now. Father God, I thank you for peace. We speak peace in our neighborhood. And God, I am truly believing that every person that's walking and that's talking is about peace. And the love of God will fill our hearts. And God, I pray that I will not have to bury another 14-year-old kid, another 6-year-old kid, another 30-year-old man, or a 45-year-old man. I pray, God, that I will not have to see another murder, another gang violence. I pray, most importantly, that you protect our police officers. God, when people disrespect our authority, they disrespect anybody. So I pray you will protect our government officials, protect every person that represents peace. Thank you again for giving us a peace in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. The next person I'm going to introduce needs no introduction here in Frank. He's a young man that's a lion fighting for this neighborhood. Yes. Yes. To improve the quality of the schools. Yeah. and of course public safety. He's a young man that my daughters finally call Uncle Tony. <laughs> so I'm going to ask Representative Tony Payton Jr. to say a few words. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he say as many words as he'd like. <laughs> wow. This brings me back to uh, five years ago. Five years ago. Now, Seth is a a, a very, a, a very good friend, and uh, you know I consider him family. And I uh, want to thank you, your office, the police department, and everybody for being out here. And uh, if for nothing else, if you look one block down, if you're here any other night, it's humming with the wrong kind of activity, and it's empty. And I think we sent the message. And, and understand that we all are in this together. We're all family, so we got to protect one another, love for one another, and make sure that we let
let folks know that we're not blind and we're not deaf. We know what's going on. We know what's going on. And, we, and we're asking them to join us in peace because that's what this is about. So thank everybody for coming out here. Thank the DA's office, everybody in the community for rallying behind this event. Um, you know, thank the police department for being here. We truly appreciate it. We appreciate you. We're going to get this started soon. Thank you. 